it might be too early to start discussing potential candidates for the 2021 presidential elections, but Winnie Byanyima's latest political revelation opens up the debate. Winnie Byanyima, aged 57 and married to FDC's Kiza Besije, says her exposure at the international scene as Oxfam director and other regional organizations has taught her many things and gained skills to lead Uganda better than any other president. I now know that I can do it. Absolutely. I have no question in my mind that I have the ability or even the passion to change our country. But politics is a game of teams. It's about a collective. It's not about you propelling yourself and pushing yourself. So if one day there's an opportunity and there is a, a team I believe in that shares my vision that wants me to lead it, I will rise. According to Bianima, she cannot front herself but can't reject any offer just in case the party endorses her candidature for presidency. Teams make decisions. I'm sure when Martha went out to stand for president, she consulted with people she trusts and they said, let's go. We have something to offer. So when that happens for me, I will do it too. Her statement comes at a time when her husband, retired Colonel Dr. Kiza Besije, has just lost in a contested election early this year to President Yorim Seveni. But even though she feels fit to lead the country, Bianima says she cannot do anything without consulting her husband, Kiza Besije. So I would never, never, never work against him. And he would never work against me. We would always work together because we are in the same team. Bianima also decried the gross human rights violations in the country and the Kasese attacks, saying they have left her bleeding. People being managed through fear. I'm seeing that more and more in this country, that what happened in Kasese happened, and that up to now, I cannot see even a group of students marching, holding candles, and protesting. It's scary. She made the remarks in a joint interview with Kenya's firebrand politician, Martha Karua, who contested for presidency and lost. This decried the bad political space that has infringed on the women empowerment at national and regional level. We need everybody in society to know that when you bring in women's inclusion, it's not women you're doing a favor, it's society doing itself a favor because no meaningful progress will be achieved in our regions until the full potential of every citizen, men and women, is utilized. They are in Uganda to champion the women's empowerment agenda. Bahati Remy, NBS, Live at 9.